Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about where the market went this past week, where we think the market's going this coming week, and if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures, so if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, lots of pain, but over time I make it more consistent, and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. we are take a look at NASDAQ on the daily chart. Clearly we can see we're in the uptrend. Now one thing to note is we have a nice daily rejection off here. So we came into the resistance to the left, got rejected. Um, I think this is going to begin a pullback. It's going to look, in my opinion, like we're consolidating but then fall back. Basically we just made such a huge move. I believe it was about 13% from low to high. Yeah, 13% from low to high, no retracement. So if we were going to get a retracement, you'd ask yourself, where are we likely to go? First area is at 15,600. Second area would be down about 15,400. If you draw a fib retracement, that's what I like to do to see. Uh, the easiest, most consistent one after a pullback is to the 38% uh, fib. So if it's very strong, like likely only get it down to about 15,300. So also lines up with the 15,400 area here and the 15,400 area here. So in my opinion, I think we'll get back to about 15,400. And basically from there, be a higher low and then trend back up into the end of December, possibly get back up and sweep the highs at above 16,300. So if you're not on any trade, then you could look for longs and you could look to enter a long around there after we saw more confirmation when we pull back. But for now, there's no trade to get in. It's just a very poor risk reward ratio if you were to get in a long. Uh, if you wanted to short, then at least you have a defined wick. So we could short here stop would be above the wick made from the news that came out Wednesday on November 15th, I believe it was PPI. So you just have your stop there and then first target would be just down at support to the left and that would be pretty basic for about 1.7R. Uh, or you could just go down to this level here and uh, TP at about two, two and a half r So when I say TP, it means take profit. That's the take profit target and then stop is uh, 170 points away. And that's all I'm watching there. NASDAQ is extremely bullish, of course. Let's just go to the weekly chart on the NASDAQ. So weekly chart on the NASDAQ, boom. You can clearly see big push up or bullish, right? Finding a little bit of rejection. In the weekly chart, the next area you would look to long based on the weekly is at about uh, 15,200 uh, or even 15,000 flat. And the best long is down here uh, at about the 618 to the 70%. So the best long entry is at 14,865. If we were to come down there, then that's an amazing long, and you just long there, put stops about below some daily swing lows. But right now, uh, only good risk reward is for a short, and no good risk rewards for longs. So let's go over to ES. ES on the weekly chart, similar setup. You know, we're coming into resistance to the left here at about 4,500. Uh, we're just above it right now. So if we were to reject, Next area, obvious area on the weekly is about 4,400. Come down to 4,400, could take a long. Uh, obviously the best area to go long is that 4,290 area, back for a high. So let me just go down to the daily chart, see where we have some potential. Yeah, so we have, we'll have some support here at about 4,380, 4,370. So I think that's the most obvious is us to kind of just trend back down, get down to about 4,400, and then the MAs will kind of come back up to there. We have some support here. Then we take a long at around 4,400 and basically target the 4,600 to 4,700 potentially by the end of the year. And that's my whole analysis. That's what I believe we'll likely see in ES and NASDAQ. If you go back now to the weekly chart, lines up of basically coming out for retest, pushing back up and taking the highs out to the left. Exact same kind of structure with NQ. You know, we're having some resistance here, pull back to the FIB. Uh, then target the 16,200 by the end of the year. Now, let's look at DXY and the rates. So DXY, extremely weak, we just keep pulling back. So uh, basically, you know, this just keeps having, being so weak, then we're gonna see more strength in the market. And that kind of coincides with the targets I had laid out. And not a whole lot to say there, other than we can bounce here at 104 and come back up. The question will be, can we get above 107.8? And if we do, uh, there's a lot more pain for the markets than we think. Now, let's take a look at the VIX. So VIX on the weekly chart, 
Uh, previous videos I said that it's so weak that it would only make sense for us to come down and test 12 on the VIX. And if we did that, then we would take out the uh, recent highs above 4,600 ES and above 16,200 on NASDAQ. Uh, but if we go to the daily chart, I believe, oh yeah, so yesterday it looked like we could possibly bounce on the VIX on volatility. And because of that, we could basically have a little bit of a pullback on the market. But Friday, usually they dump the VIX on Friday. So this basically just, again, you know, we could come a little lower, but I think the VIX will get a pop but nothing crazy, right? So the VIX will kind of get a little little pop in the coming two weeks. And because of that, we'll sell off on ES and NASDAQ. And then we can get in a long from there and target the highs uh, on ES and NASDAQ. But for now, no long entry, a potential short entry because you have a tight, tight stop at least, but we're so bullish that it's not wise to get any shorts, of course. Last thing to check out is the 10, 10 year and the two year. So 10 year, Again, consistently weak, which is what you want to see for NASDAQ and tech stocks to be strong. Uh, 10 year as well, weak. And like I said in previous videos, it, it's good when these go down for the market until it goes down so much that they're basically pricing a recession and then when they price in no growth and then the mar stock market corrects and it goes into a bear market essentially once we have a, a recession. But for now, everything is still bullish. So we're just going to be taking longs on pullbacks until otherwise. NASDAQ recently has started to become a little bit weaker ever since the news that came out than ES. So if we were to short, we would short on NASDAQ, not on ES, uh, and then get in a long on a pullback and target the highs. So give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Let, let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see more of. Subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week, one every Thursday night, one every Sunday at 2 p.m. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.